Hey everybody, welcome to the membership meeting for April at the Arts Consortium. My name is Ampelio Mejia Perez, I'm the Executive Director of the Arts Consortium, and we're really excited about a whole bunch of stuff that's coming out. I'd like to remind you guys about our Artist Master List. If you haven't signed up yet, go ahead and go to artsconsortium.org so that we can show a huge list of all of the artists that we have in the area, but at the same time can serve as a resource for anybody trying to find an artist of a certain kind. We're, we're really excited that it's growing well, so uh, hopefully you'll sign up soon. If you haven't already heard, things look like they will be opening up in mid-June. So at the moment, we expect that our membership meeting and our first Friday for July will be live. We will be required to require masks, but other than that, I think that uh, there aren't any occupancy limits uh, after June 15th. So... That's exciting, and we really hope to see you once once things open up. I'd like to thank Rosalinda Alexander for sharing all of her awesome work. She collected all the video, and I, we just uh, we put it into the into her first Friday virtual event. And she's she's just done so much work; it's amazing. So thank you, Rosalinda, for being on our first it's, Friday. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Michelle Goins, who is the gallery director at Arts Visalia, and she'll be talking to you about a bunch of different exciting things that they've got going on as well. Hello and welcome to the Arts Consortium Monthly Membership Meeting. My name is Michelle Goins and I am the Gallery Director at Arts Visalia. If you aren't familiar with Arts Visalia, we are a community arts center located in downtown Visalia. Our gallery features diverse monthly exhibitions of regionally, nationally, and internationally recognized artists. We are proud to be celebrating 25 years as Visalia's premier center for the visual arts. Since the beginning of the pandemic, we've made all of our exhibitions available as virtual gallery tours on our website, artsvisalia.org. You can schedule an appointment to see the exhibitions in person. Currently on display at Arts Visalia is Seen and Unseen, Ricardo Favela Expressions of Chicana Chicano Art. This exhibition features the life and legacy of Chicano artist Ricardo Favela from his beginnings in Dinuba to the Royal Chicano Air Force and teaching art in Sacramento. Arts Visalia is very proud to be able to extend this exhibition until April 30th. Also on display is the exhibition titled Still Here, featuring the drawings and paintings of Tulare County native Jana Botkin. These works are a testament to the beauty of Tulare County and Jana Botkin's realistic style shows what makes rural living so appealing. Still Here will be on display at the gallery from March 31st until April 30th. One of the other services that Arts by Sally provides is art education. And although we have not been able to have classes in person, we have created children's art kits to allow the kids in your life to still engage with the arts. Each kit is catered to the child's age group and includes step-by-step -step directions, as well as most of the supplies needed for the projects. Enroll on our website now. Arts by Celia wouldn't be able to provide so much access to art and education without the support of people like you. If you would like to help continue Arts by Celia's mission, there is a great opportunity coming up with our 20th annual ORCID fundraiser. This is Arts by Celia's biggest fundraiser and we are excited to be able to announce that real live ORCIDs are back this year. Each potted ORCID is only $25 each and makes a wonderful gift. ORCIDs will be available May 1st through the 8th or until supplies last, so be sure to get your ORCIDs right away. If you'd like to learn more about Arts by Celia and our services or to support us, you can visit artsbycelia.org or you can also email us at info at or call 559-739-0905. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, we are going to be currently seeking a bookkeeper. And if you go on indeed.com and you just search Arts Consortium, it'll, it'll come up, bookkeeper. So if you're interested or know somebody who is, please guide them that way. So after a lot of conversation with artists and community members, we've made a few changes to what used to be our watermark cover contest. We've opened it up to any art form, and all we need is a picture of your piece of art. Send it to hello at artsconsortium.org. Uh, the My Voice Media Center has been running on a low capacity for about two months now, and it's been doing great. What is going on right now, if you come by at any point and you look through our, our south windows, You'll be able to see some umbrellas hanging there, and what that is is an, uh, a My Voice Media Center art installation where they've gotten together, they've brainstormed some ideas of what they'd like to see, and they've come up with materials lists, and they're uh, now kind of 
working together uh, with myself and staff to to install this. So we're pretty excited about that, and uh, yeah, come check it out. If you haven't already heard, Tasty Art is on, and we have already had a few committee meetings but it really hasn't been very much and so if you're interested in participating in Tasty Arts and if you have ideas and if you have time and you can uh, help create those ideas then please come out. If you or anyone you know is interested in sponsoring our festival uh, please let them know uh, they can visit this website and do so. Thank you very much for joining us we miss you very much and we're very excited that it looks like we'll be able to come together again soon. Thank you.